Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Mario Tennis Aces and today we are going back into an online tournament. Hopefully we can win one this time. Last time we played as Donkey Kong and it didn't turn out so well, but hopefully things will go just a little bit better here. Uh, we'll just do standard class and oh, we're doing Spike today who is a powerful character. Gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting that, especially two power characters next to each other. And Chain Chomp is a power character as well, that's weird. How many power characters are there? Then there's one. Uh, I mean, I guess there's just one down there, and then two, three, four, five. Is that, I think that's more than any other class in the game. How interesting, because there's only two defensive characters as far as I see. Weird. Anyways, we're playing a Spike. He's the little guy that could apparently with how hard he hits. He's usually an enemy in Mario games. Doesn't really play too much of a main role, just as an occasional enemy. But I feel like in the last couple spin-off Mario games, he has show, shown up a couple more times than we'd expect. I think he was in Mario Party 9 or 10. Uh, of course, he's in this game, and I think he's in the new Super Mario Party. And it's Spike versus Spike. Interesting. I really don't know what to expect from this guy. Like, literally anything could happen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. See how things go. All right, well, looks good to me. We got our pro controller controls. It seems like, yeah, we're just getting right into a match today, which is exciting, that's nice. And we've only, well, we've played against this guy online a little bit. Ooh, he moves a little more slowly than I was expecting. Okay, go back, go back, go back, cancel that. Ooh, this is really weird. He's very small, so he's gonna have probably some of the, oh, okay, uh, some of the setbacks I'd imagine, whoa! Toad would have, um, and the fact that he has that really tiny reach. And there we go, we got a uh, top spin in there. But what are his advantages? I'm trying to find out. It's hard to tell you when I'm going against another spike, to be totally honest. Well, let's do that. Will that work? It won't. I mean, the thing is, like, there, he feels slumbering as if, you know, he's walking with around with a racket that's too large for him, and that's exactly what's happening in a very interesting way. Oh! And this, this other spike seems to be keeping up for me pretty much blow for blow. So it's interesting. Wanted to try to do a drop shot. <laughs> it's interesting that we started this with spike versus spike. Oh boy, oh boy, you're gonna actually be able to hit that? You will. Okay, hold on, hold on. Got it, that was a good block and he's gonna get that one. Oh, back it up, back it up, cancel, cancel, cancel. Ugh. Was hoping I could do a little bit better with that shot. Oh, here we go, here we go, boom. Okay, I have my special if I need it. Hopefully I don't. And I can just smack that one right by him. And then we, you are not gonna get this one, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're making this work. This is such a weird character. And what's also weird is that he spits up the ball, just like he does his usually, he throws out little spike rallings in Mario games. Here he spits up the ball just like he will. Let's go ahead and uh, throw a super on him. He eats his racket and spits out one of his spike rallings. And he just hits the ball with that. He is a very interesting character, just in general. <laughs> well, there we go, 40 love. He's really cool. I wasn't expecting him to be so interesting. Ooh, that was a nice serve. I don't know what he really has over other power characters so far. You would think that he would have less, seeing how he has um, that lack of range, you know, instead of Bowser or Donkey Kong, who are these very large characters. He's not gonna have that too much because of the fact that he's smaller but maybe he whacks more of a lot wallop because of it. It's really hard to say. I mean, I'm still, you know, really piecing apart this game to see what, how characters, oh, that's so tough to do anything about. If that's the case, don't you dare. I'm not letting you do that again. No, stop it. You're stealing this from me right now. Ah, uh, it's tough to service him too. I feel like it's gonna be easier to return. Or at least, it's easy to get taken advantage of. No way, what is happening to me? We were doing fine and then I just handed him the game. We were like 40 love. I'm awful, I'm just awful. All right, well now he gets to serve. You know, I can do that too though, you know. Not that time, because you're really trying to take advantage of me. I probably should have done that to you. I should have done his own shot serve. I just don't know how to think. <laughs> Jeez, he's, he's gonna do this to me, isn't he? Or he just turns it around. Okay, so he is actually gonna smack that. I'm gonna smack that too, though. I don't know why, what is going on with the controls, though? Like, he feels wonky. He feels off. And I'm trying to figure out what that is. Because I, I mean, most spikes we've gone against, I haven't had too hard of a time. To be totally honest with you, oh my gosh, but it's just a lob shot, and I'm just incapable of knowing what to do about it, apparently. All right, go ahead and beat me. I, mean, I shouldn't give up hope so soon, I guess. Jeez, it's just like one eye. Oh, okay, you know what? You know what? I'm getting you for that one. 
I'm so done with this, and there's no way you can stop this one because you have no energy. Boom, thank you. So if he's just not gonna build up any energy, then I'm gonna try to do his own shot every time. Mm. Oh, 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 or I can do that! For whatever reason, I already don't really like playing as this guy. Like, I'm gonna give him, you know, my good, honest try, but I think there's a reason I don't see many people play as him ever. Oh wow, I only had 35,000 points. I don't know what is with us recently just going against players who are so much more experienced than us, but that's just sort of see how it seems to be how it is. I mean, I guess it's an okay way to improve as you go against characters or players that uh, have more skill than you because hopefully you can learn something from them. Anyways, going back into a tournament, maybe now we can get a better idea of how Spike works. It could turn out better. I don't know. Ah, uh, it's just, he's such a weird character. Such a weird character. But hey, now we'll be going against a speedy character, which I feel like power characters can work with that. I would say if it was anybody but Spike because he has that low reach. I mean, to balance out his low reach, he also has a larger than normal racket, which helps him reach more. I just don't know if that's really better than Donkey Kong. So that's where I wanna bring the conversation to you guys. Speaking of which, here's Donkey Kong. What are your thoughts on Spike? Do you think he's a good character, bad character, somewhere in between, do you play him or not? And if you have any hints or tips for me when it comes to Spike, feel free to let me know. I love to hear it. <laughs> Okay, so, this is looking interesting. Yeah. Going against, I think we're still DK. I think we reconnected to the same one. Yeah, I don't know if we ever disconnected to him. But two power, power characters again going at it. Looks like, once again, the top spin is something I need to focus on a little bit more, I think. Oh, let's go ahead and smack it that way. I think I'm going, like, once again, once we get totally served by a higher power character or player, we usually go against somebody who's very low powers. That's probably exactly what's happening here. I wanted to cancel that shot, but okay. That's sort of another thing I don't like is there's like no way to cancel a charge shot in like a way that actually makes sense ever. Like I just jam all the buttons until he stops charging. Like right, like right there. Like right there, I just, I, there's no way. It's weird. So I just gotta hold on for a second to know he's not gonna lob shot me. But if I hold on for a second, I might get, Drop shot it or something ridiculous. He's going up to the net, so I should be able to work with that if he keeps doing it. And obviously, every second I waste not charging is, you know, time I'm not getting a charge, and that's a big problem. All right. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so there's that game. He's just a weird character. Like, I couldn't honestly think of an explanation on why I'd play him above a different character. I mean, I can say that about a good couple of them. Like, they're obviously, it's cool that this game has a huge roster of like different playable characters, but at the same time, it can be hard to figure out like really which ones out of those are worth playing, which one, one of those might be fun to play, but really won't get you anywhere. Because it feels like there's a couple characters like that, unfortunately. I mean, I'd rather not be, but that just sort of seems to be how it is. All right, well, let's figure this out. Ready, and slam. Yeah. No, okay, yeah, racket break as well. Not bad. 15. 15 love. So it's his serve, still, it's going to be. Hopefully until the end of the game, because that would mean I'd win. Oh, see, I at least, you know, I timed my back roll there a little bit better. Oh, oh, you almost got me with that one. Come on. Oh, stop that, jeez, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll around. His trick shots seem to be pretty reliable. He's really trying to get up into the net, but I don't think that'd be too good of an idea. We learned that the hard way last round, or last episode. Last round as well, but, okay. Oh, he's actually gonna do his special. Didn't even realize he got it. That was gonna be a point, too. Oh, well. Ready, and... Yeah, okay. That was worth it, because I actually got the point. I had to use all my energy for it. And then, Wait, no, 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 come on, Spike. He's weird, he just, he moves way slower than you think a small character like him would move. And like, that's also like, his looks deceive him, or at least deceive me. Oh, nice, and we get a slice to win the game, game, set, and match. All right, very cool stuff. I'm happy about that one. Spike in his little action pose. He's like a little sumo wrestler. That's what's cute about him. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting game, but basically the exact opposite of the previous game. As we can see, I have a lot more score than he does, so I just would want an even balanced game that I still end up winning, of course, that'd be great. <laughs> but after that, I hope it's like well balanced and we fight to the end. And we had a lot of that last episode. 
Uh, but this time around, it's sort of been 50-50. We'll have to wait and see. Who are we going against now, though, in the uh, round three to win to go towards the semifinals? Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be Waluigi. What a joy. <laughs> I'm sure we could do something, right? I mean, it's interesting, because some of the characters towards the bottom of the roster selection are some of the least played. Spike, Yoshi, Chain Chomp. I don't think we've ever gone against a Chain Chomp online in the main full game. I think we did on the online tournament demo before the game came out. Everyone's like, what, Chain Chomp's in the game as a playable character? But I'm pretty positive we haven't gone against a single um, Chain Chomp online. Okay, got the first point, that's nice. Like after the game has come out, we finish destroy mode, I'm almost positive we haven't run into a single Chain Chomp, which is weird. I mean, there are definitely a very tight selection. Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually got it. No wait, no wait, no wait. Yeah, I'm all non tight. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom, beautiful stuff. I actually somehow got that one. I think that was mostly luck. But hey, luck is still gonna get me a point. Okay, whoa, whoa. He's gonna try to lob shotting it in a second. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's not really what I wanted. That's what happened. Uh, wow, okay, so that's just so weird. I still don't know how to handle Spike. Getting the deep uh, drop shot there was really nice, though. That's hard to work with. Got an okay serve. There we go. Oh, he's gonna smack that back. I just have to be quicker in my reaction time to a lob shot. I think that would help. Okay, so is he gonna slow down for that? He will, and then I'm just gonna roll over for that. At least I'm trying to keep his energy low. Yeah, and we got it! That was gonna get us the first game. Right there, I feel like that was a lot of technical playing more than it was using the uh, zone shots and stuff, but the zone shots helped. I don't know, maybe he just has a slower play style that I could actually end up using. Ooh, okay, that was just lucky. That was just real lucky for me. Person might still be mastering the art of Waluigi. I'll take advantage of that. Okay, we'll just do a little drop shot like that for now. Yeah, this person doesn't really seem to uh, fully utilize Waluigi's reach just yet. I mean, I'm sure they'll get there if they keep trying. But for right now, we're working it pretty well. <laughs> All right, we just gotta get one more point, we get the win. Will it happen? Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, and then drop shot it to the left. Oh, he's gonna get that. Oh, oh no, he got me, look at that. Don't turn this around on me like the first game of the day. Against the other spike. Oh boy. All right, oh, oh. Okay, and just one right past him, game set and match. All right, so there's that one done. I feel like I'm getting a lot luckier in this tournament. I'll have to wait and see. Right now though, I didn't even get like nearly as much energy as he did, which is to be expected. Yeah, I definitely had a lot more points than he did. Okay, so there's that being done. And we can challenge our next opponent. We're in the semifinals of Spike. Could I just get lucky on the way to the finals? It's possible. We'll have to find out. Let's see who we're going against now. I mean, maybe we'll go against a Chain Chomp now that I've said I've never gone against a Chain Chomp online. And then after that, we have Koopa. So we're getting really close to the end. We have two more episodes until we have every character showcase. Then I might take a little break to catch up with some other games because you know that's still 23 episodes of this series. It's, that's a lot. Um, but then definitely we'll be back in August, sometime in August, at least to check out whatever new character there might be. Um, that'll be fun because of, of course they're adding a new character in every tournament month, as far as I understand. So who knows what it's gonna be next month, but it probably will be, my guess is Blooper, because those were the first two characters they confirmed were coming to the game through uh, these online tournaments. Those were the first two they confirmed, and then Koopa was the first one to actually come to fruition. So I'm honestly guessing the next one will be Blooper, which is actually pretty cool. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I was, I put my controller down for one second and we're in a game, so he gets the first point. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> I guess it happens. Oh, I should have seen that coming. All right, well, he got that one. He's got a good start going on. How many times have we lost after having an amazing start? Way more times than I'd care to admit. No, 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 I'm gonna get that one. That's happening. Hmm. And then we're just gonna drop shot that on you. I mean, we're going to get, once again, whenever we go against other power characters, we seem to struggle. Whoop. Bah! You know what? I was trying to go for, oh, a body shot, how embarrassing. 
Love 40. This is really not a good start. All right. That's not what I wanted. Ooh, come on, Spike. Thank you. Smack that. Thank you. And then we're just gonna lob it. That was not a lob. That's a lob, and it was at a bad time. <laughs> oh gosh, no! Nope. He's gonna just smack this back. No, you're not. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, we got a point. Look at us. Ah, <laughs> okay. Very cool. Okay, so my goal now then is to earn up as much energy as possible. Whoop. I'm trying to get quicker with the. Oh, that was 100% my fault. I actually tried to press B there. I accidentally hit the analog stick. Ah, that was a mess. It's hard to play video games with hooves, I gotta tell you. Oh! I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Uh, no, what happened there? What was that? I swear that was not the, I was not looking at the perspective that the game was trying to show me there. I had like a weird out of body experience or something. Okay, well this Bowser's kicking my butt. It's not fair. And you know what? The, oh my gosh, what happened to the star? That happened so often where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna actually go for this this zone shot for once, and then the only time I ever go for it, it just disappears. Like the moment I press the button. It's so uncool. Like this one, not so much. And is he's, he's actually not gonna use his special. Maybe he's got like that Luigi from a couple episodes ago where he won't use his special unless it's like the absolute last point. Come on. Mm. Oh, he's gonna smack that one. Oh, come on. He's about to win. This is not good. This is match point. I really don't think Spike's my character. <laughs> On the search of who my character really truly is, I don't think it's Spike. Honestly, out of all the characters I've played, I mean, I don't want to call favorites until I've played all of them. I feel like that's a big point on why I'm trying to play all of them. That's what I was trying to do to you. Okay. I, oh my gosh, how many times do I have to try a lob shot to actually land a lob shot? Like, I can do a drop shot every single time. And I swear, lob shots don't always work. Like, I swear it. It doesn't work half the time. It's insane. Anyways, that person on a monstrously higher score than I do, so I'm not too surprised. But geez, it just, it's very wearing when you're trying all these different characters, and most of them just don't feel like they compare. Like, they're just actually technically inferior to some other characters, but it, it might just be me. It might just be me not utilizing their strengths and you know working with their weaknesses. I just gotta keep trying. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but you gotta keep trying. All right, this time we're going against a Peach. I feel like though, with that conversation I was saying before, I feel like one of the highest candidates for the character I like the most is gonna be Peach. I mean, out of all the characters, that I played so far, like I played Peach pretty early on when I definitely didn't play the game as well as I did now. And that's saying a lot, because I do not play the game well right now. Um, but I at least sort of have a better grasp on how the game works and some more of its actual like playing mechanics. And I feel like Peach was a really fun character for practically the exact reason that's happening right in front of her face, where we can, or she can really just work a lot of stuff. She can hit the ball all different ways, naturally cool. Rosalina is another one. And then Toadette we played surprisingly well. Who was the other character we won a tournament with? Uh, Jeez, I can't remember. I thought like there was one other person. Was it Bowser Jr.? I feel like we got really close with Bowser Jr. But now with his nerf, I don't know if he's gonna be any better. That was an interesting drop there. I don't think, I think that was just the angling, but that's usually what I do with Toadette. All right then, so I'm gonna really quickly use my special before you get the chance to use yours. And then it's gonna be a better idea. You can only hope. Smack it in this corner, because she's just gonna wait for it. And she was too early. Okay, so we got that. Very good. His racket is so large compared to him. Like, it's almost bigger than he is. Like, the surface of the racket is almost larger than him. It's crazy. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, you're gonna smack that one, but with a drop shot. I feel like I need, a lot, need to utilize his tricks way more than I do. I mean, it's hard to do that. Okay, so now she's gonna serve. Let's see if this makes any much of a difference. Oh. Okay. Oh gosh, be careful. No, that's the wrong direction. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, we're doing well so far. I can afford to make some mistakes. 
But I feel like that's sort of just sort of the way of life when it comes to these uh, smaller characters that have this weaker reach. You need the one thing, know what direction she's hitting the ball before you do the trick shot. But then second off, you just have to be able to, uh... oh gosh, that's what I was trying to do. But um, you just have to be willing to do a lot of trick shots. Oh, we're knocking her back. And this is what I try to do a lot more, is utilize the charge shots, because that's just where it's power characters are dominant, is using a lot of charge shots. But with a limited reach and slow movement, it's hard to find a good position to charge up in. So she is gonna go for this again, and, oh, she actually got it! I was not expecting that. <laughs> I don't know why, I should've. That was just me being foolish. So she's dominating me this game. Jeez, just can't catch a break today with Spike. Whoa, I did it again! Why is that such a bad habit for me all of a sudden? Oh gosh. Okay. Oh. What? Come on, how else am I gonna get it? All right, this is so difficult. I gotta say, this is not easy for me. <laughs> Spike is just not, not my character. I'm so sorry. I mean, I, <laughs> that was just lucky for me. You know what? We're going for a zone shot serve. Maybe this is just the oomph I need, you know? <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. She forgot that it has to bounce once, which I mess up all the time. Okay, this time she's actually gonna let it bounce once. And then drop shot it that way. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. And then. Whoa, see that time I was not expecting it to actually give me the zone shot, but it did. And other times I feel like it definitely should and it doesn't, so it's just a little wishy-washy in that way. Okay, got a good serve there. She was expecting me to do another zone shot, and I didn't, so I actually was able to snag that game just by surprising her, which is good. Okay, boop. I might have to yeah, bounce over to that one. I'm gonna smack it that way. There we go, ooh, she's gonna have to, oh, ho, 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 he made a mistake with that one. Okay, so now that I actually have the power advantage, I feel like I could actually play this to win. I'll have to wait and see. Wait, wait, mm. But since I can keep the power advantage, using a lot of energy really shouldn't be all that bad in theory. There we go, very nice. So that's 30 love, I need to get one more point. Whoa, ho, ho, you really smacked that one. You know what, we're doing our uh, special before you actually have enough energy to do something about it. And if we smack it way over this way, you shouldn't be able to stop it, yeah. Okay, that's very nice. 40 love, keep going. All right, I'm ready if you are. Ooh. Not bad. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. There we go, nice, game set and match. Awesome stuff. So one thing I've been meaning to ask though, is that it is really interesting, like I said, Spike is just sort of this weird side character that started showing up, I think in Super Mario Bros. 3, back on the NES days. And I've been wondering, I've been thinking, what other unexpected, maybe sort of menial characters in the Mario series would make good candidates for uh, Mario Party and Mario Tennis characters, or any Mario sports, really? I'm thinking Nabbit. Nabbit from the new Super Mario Bros. series has sort of been underappreciated for how fun of a character design he is. I hope that you know he starts hitting Mario games a little bit more. But beyond that, I feel like the characters that really need it are some of the new characters. Uh, I really don't want the Mario Odyssey characters to go to the wayside, you know? I mean, I was really hoping to see some kind of Cappy-related thing in Mario Tennis Aces, you know? Or maybe just an outfit that has Cappy, that would be really cool. But beyond that, like we need to see the Brutals in some Mario Party and Mario Tennis and Mario Sports action. Okay, so we're going against a trick character here, a tricky character. That can be bad, so we'll just have to be ready for it. Because it's just gonna be, as, as is described, tricky. Okay. Just because of the curve of the shots is always so ridiculous. I was trying to go for a drop, can't get it. It's just I'm desperately trying to move to the ball, actually being able to get a trick shot or a drop shot. It's gonna be tough. There we go, that was pretty good though. Too bad it was just not at the right place at the right time, but I'm working it so far. But I think the Brutals are like a big candidate for me when it comes to what characters I wanna see in more spin-off Mario games. Obviously, this is like the first spin-off Mario game that is released since Mario Odyssey, so I'll give them some time. 
Uh, I know Super Mario Party is coming out. I don't think they've confirmed the full player roster for that. I would sure hope not. Hopefully there are still some surprises, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and do our special before this gets nastier because he's starting to play me. I'll outplay me. Okay, there we go. Ooh, will you get it? Not quite, but you tried. I respect that. Okay, break point time. Always a tough serve to do something about. Oh gosh. Okay. I was trying to go for a lob. Still not getting the lob. Oh, it bounced off the net. That's actually really good. So we get the first game. It'd be interesting to see Goomba. Oh, that's another interesting character that's in Super Mario Party. Is Goomba is a playable character, which I think is the first time we've seen. Oh, I've done that before, I feel ya. I think it's the first time we've seen Goomba as a playable character in a Mario game in general. I mean, most of them, at least. Maybe not every single one of them. But you know, stuff like the Mario Sports and the Mario Parties, I don't think there's ever been a playable Goomba. That's pretty cool, I like that idea. And then there's other characters like Lakitu. I know in Mario Tennis for the N64, we had a Koopa Paratroopa, so we have a Koopa right now in the game. But there was a flying Koopa before. So, you know, interesting combos like that. I mean, there's so many options. Like the the Mario roster of characters is just really fun. I mean, I don't really think anyone's vying for like Koopalings in Mario Tennis Aces. I feel like it'd just be too many characters. But that's what's so nice about the Brutals, is it sort of has that same feeling as the Koopalings, but condensed way more. Instead of having like, what, seven different Koopalings you'd have to smush into the game like in Mario Kart 8? You only have four, and I feel like that's a lot more workable. And they're also, their body types are much more different, you know? Like three out of the seven, Koopalings have basically the same body type with them being very large, or at least, you know, noticeably like large. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, at least two or three of them, like Morton and Roy are probably the same weight type. But with the Brutals, it's so much more condensed and easier to recognize. You could actually pull like a silhouette of every character and know which one's which is still, you know? So like, I feel like that's pretty cool. Um, and I feel like they just, they're, they're a fun character design. I would argue that maybe even better designs than the Koopalings. But I feel like that's always going to be the case. If you have seven characters, you have to stretch out designs between and make them all recognizably unique, opposed to four. The four characters are always gonna look better because you can just, you have more traits to your disposal that you can use per character instead of having to spread those out. Okay, there we go, not bad. So sorry, I'm talking so much about other things that aren't Mario Tennis right now. I don't know why. Sometimes I just get into that, that that zone, the ramble zone. Oh, okay, that sort of worked. Can I get a, a drop shot? No. I need to be careful because you're charging shots up. Okay, this is not good. I mean, we beat the last Peach we won against, right? Hopefully that can be the case here. Oh, oh, not bad. Strong slice, even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. You know, let's go ahead and do this now. I feel like it's gonna be a good idea. They look so happy. That's the other thing about Spike, is that he just, you know, like with the Koopas and the Goombas, like it seems like they know what they're doing when they get in the way of Mario. But Spikes like are never sort of outright attacking Mario. They're always just sort of doing their own thing as if like that's just what they do, you know? You know, it's not that they're, that they're actually trying to get Mario. It's more that that's just what Spikes do, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Anyways, you got me there. This is tough. This Peach knows how to play. Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy, no! Oh, you're getting me. You're using your technical character advantages. Okay. Break point. I gotta stop it. Stop her from breaking head. No, she's gonna use her special. Oh boy. Give me your best shot. You're obviously gonna smack it that way. What? This is why I really don't like the super small characters because no matter how much it seems like I was gonna hit that, it just went right over his head. Like seriously? Ah, oh, that stinks. I just need to jump around a little bit more. There we go, that's good, that's good. But getting those high charge drop shots, it's not easy to find a good situation for it, but once you do, it can be nice. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that. Mm. Oh no. Uh-uh. Okay, ready? Boom, just smacking it that way. Oh, I should have just went for it. 
I'm just like, I'm, I'm weird on where my confidence level should be on hitting most of these shots, you know? It isn't always easy to figure it out. Nice, that was a decent drop. Okay, so I do have my special. I probably want to use it before she has hers, which is right now. She can't get any closer to it without basically having it. Okay, got it. And she did, oh, you stinker. I am so done with you right now. Because now you, you're, you tied us up in points. Oh gosh, oh gosh, and now you've taken the lead. Come on, I'm so bad with this character. I'm trying my best, I promise. All right, oh nice, tied it up. That was a pretty lucky drop. I mean, she's already gotten the first game, right? So I gotta really know what I'm doing here. And so far, I don't feel like I do. Oh boy. Ooh, that was a good block, I was really worried. That wasn't gonna go my way. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, but it's also not really because you still took the advantage. I just really need you to get out of here with that. Ah, oh, and that's just where it's just great to be a technical character. That specific situation. That's what I like about Toadette being a technical character as well. If I'm gonna lose, I might as well lose in style, never mind. <laughs> it is not going well. I just, Spike, once again, is one of those characters that's just not for me. I would love him to be, but I mean, I can't have that for every character now, can I? That was about an evenly matched game though, and it just shows, I think, the advantages of some other characters. I would really like a character with longer reach, but that's why I wanna hear your thoughts on Spike. Maybe you win every tournament ever you've ever done with Spike, and he's awesome, and I'm just doing everything wrong. That's okay, it happens, but I would love to hear that feedback. Either way, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario Tennis Aces. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Spike, so now you've watched at the end that you're a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.